Here is America's next super aircraft carrier, the United States ship John F. Kennedy, also known as CVN-79. This aircraft carrier's name as an honor for President John F. Kennedy for his lifetime of service to the United States, recognized for his trustworthy leadership in public service. The CVN-79 is notable for its capacity to accommodate up to 90 aircraft. Is it superior to its conventional powered predecessor, the CV-67? When will this ship start operating? Let's dive deeper. On August 1, 2007, the CV-67 was officially decommissioned and its role was taken over by the CVN-79. In major combat operations, the Northrop Grumman-designed ship will be a key asset in crisis deterrence, sea control, power projection, maritime security, and humanitarian assistance. This ship was launched on October 29, 2019, and is expected to be operational by 2025. May God bless the ship and all who sail in her. <laughs> Although heavier than its predecessor, the Nimitz class, this 100,000-ton ship only requires 500 to 900 fewer crew members. It boasts speeds of over 30 knots, with unlimited range, depending on the use of its A-1B nuclear reactors, which last between 20 to 25 years. The USS John F. Kennedy features the latest nuclear power systems, a larger flight deck, and the ability to sail for 159 days without resupply, compared to its predecessor. It is equipped with an array of enhanced electronic systems and weaponry such as the evolved Sea Sparrow missile, rolling airframe missile, and Sea Winds. Besides its claim as a highly efficient and modern combat surface ship, does it truly have a 50-year lifespan at sea? Is there any super aircraft carrier that surpasses it? Leave your thoughts and thanks for watching.